Everybody was asking the other night what tools or welders Brandon's using. Those are Brandon questions, not really questions for me. Kind of putting in a late night tonight. He had some time, and a lot of times during the week, because Brandon still works a regular full-time job in between trying to weld full-time as well. So he just tries to squeeze in stuff when he can, especially on projects like this. What makes it nice is he can come out of his house, come out here and weld when he needs to. So we just putting some finishing passes on the bed. We've got it up here on these uh, saw horses or iron horses, I guess we'll call it, welding horses maybe. That's where we left off in the other day's video. So a lot of the welds doing today, they're gonna be up under here. That's kind of what we're doing. I say we, I'm gonna say that very loosely, what he's doing.
Revelation 2 and 4. Now why does this MIG welder have slag? It's flexible wire. It's got gas and flux inside. It's good for dirty metal. Thick metal. I'm not a metal man, so I don't know anything about it, but that was the first time I'd ever paid attention to it before. And you've got all the seams facing the same way on this right now? Yeah. Look at all the bumps, all the bolsters on the bumps, all the seams are facing the inside. I see that now. I've never really paid attention. Seam on the metal. All the seams on this right here are all facing. Seams all facing inside. Seams on the metal all facing this way. Now is that just where, was this made in a cast or do they roll this or how do they do it? They weld that back together. So they roll it and weld it together. See, it's an educational show. I'm learning a lot. I don't know anything about metal working or fabricating. To be quite honest, I'd never really thought about seams and metal until it was brought up the other day. And Kyle was here. And but if you look at that, all the seams on the bunks, you can see them there. Seams on the headache rack facing in. 
seams on the bolsters facing in. Now I'm assuming most of you guys watched the video from two days ago where it was kind of me getting over here to the initial part of the build when it started, which they'd already started the previous day. But I was tied up Saturday, so I didn't get over here till Sunday to kind of watch everything. Which I like being over here when Brandon's building things. I'm always, more or less, I'm just in the way. But I find it really interesting. Uh, fabrication stuff always kind of intrigues me because it's something I've never been good at. It's something my dad, he was never really into. We were always just loggers. So when it come to fixing stuff, we were kind of we were kind of out. He never was much of a mechanic, and I'm not much of a mechanic. So, or fabricating, welding, mechanicing, anything like that. So, we rely on people like Brandon that are good at it. I've always kind of wanted to be a, a welder, but I've <laughs> I've tried welding a little bit before, and I'm not much of a welder. And I always like to say I know my strengths and I know my weaknesses. When it comes to welding and stuff like that, I'm a lot better at writing a check to people like Brandon who are good at it instead of trying to do it myself, make a mess of it, then still have to pay Brandon to do it, but then I've got to pay him more because he's got to fix my mistakes. Then he's got to do it the right way. So know your strengths and know your weaknesses. I'm good at cutting trees. I'm good at buying timber. So that's what I do. Me one good looking log bed. Now, somebody asked the other day about fenders. I'll try to answer some questions that I remember that were brought up. Somebody asked about fenders either on my Facebook page, which is Daniel Turner on Facebook. Uh, they asked about fenders. For fenders, I'm doing minimizers. I'm just going to do the, what is it, Paula, poly something, plastic, some kind of stuff. Just minimizer fenders is what I'm going to do there to kind of help keep stuff from being slung all over the cab of that Mack truck, up on the loader, up on the bed. Uh, what you see here in the middle, Brandon's actually going to go through here with plate, and he's going to weld the plate down through there, bolt it, weld it. I don't know. He's There's going to be a plate that goes through here to protect all of our drive lines and air lines, things like that. On the back, there will be a plate for a pinnel hitch, coupler. Airlines, glad hands, electrical, all that stuff. Uh, I've got just enough bull holler in me. I like I like lights. I like for things to look good. And um, Brandon, I think he's a little annoyed with that part of it with me, but yeah, that's all right. Uh, so I think I mentioned the other day I want to put lights down the back of the bunks on the back of the truck, just markers, and then on the sides of the bunks I want to put markers down the sides of it as well. The tops of the bolsters will be capped off, welded. The bottoms will not be capped off, just for all the wiring and electrical that will be in the bolsters. Uh, bracing, I know we've got some bracing to do up here on the headache rack. For the bolster, there will be some kind of crossbar bracing that actually comes down and connects the headache rack to the first bolster uh, in here just to kind of reinforce it. Remember Brandon saying he knows who's who's this is for and who's running the show, running the loader. So he's kind of building it for that because my dad and I are kind of hard on things. On the sides, we'll have. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how he's going to do that, but we'll have. There'll be something not really D rings, I don't think, but something for straps to strap the load down. Well. He's, he's got all this planned out pretty well. This is Brandon's first log bed he's built, which by looking at it and look what he's doing, you sure wouldn't think it's his first. Knocking the flag off the welds there and get him shined up.
good looking welds. That's three passes. Each side there. I said still got to do the underneath part. He'll get all this up here welded still yet. Get everything anchored down real good. Hey guys, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos.